A common question that comes up, what do you do all day? Well, let's talk about it. Every time I disappear for a week or so, I get lots of questions about, where are you? Are you okay? Is everything okay? And everything's fine. Understand I make these videos because I, I want to. I've explained why in the past. In some cases, I actually enjoy it. It gives me something to do. But there's other things I'm involved in. And those things require some of my time. And that can put the videos sometimes on the back burner. If you're living here, or if you plan on coming here, most people, the vast majority of people that come here to Cuenca have their own income. So they don't really have to worry about things. So they get here, and they're almost like on, on vacation. You know, they get to travel a lot and go out and eat and you know, just kind of kick back and enjoy life, which is great. It's wonderful if you work to get to that place, whether you're retired or you're 30 years old. There's people here that have worked to get to that place, work online, um, and it's great. But you may find that you need something more. You may find that you want to do something useful, something to keep yourself busy, but something that contributes to your life and to other people's lives. For me, one, I volunteer. I'm a vice president of a nonprofit foundation, and there will be, as I keep promising, another video. And <clears throat> let me quickly explain why that hasn't gone full bore. It is, it just isn't with the gringo reach out. And the reason for that is there's no bank yet. And I don't know what the complication is. That's not part of my part. I'm not the treasurer. I just keep asking, please let me know when you have the banking established. And as soon as there is that established, I'll pour all the information out to you. So there's that. The second thing I'm involved in is a website that I created called Cuenca-Relocate.com. And the purpose of it was through constant questions over the last couple years from you, video watchers, how do I find somebody that I can trust that will help me get a visa? How can I find somebody that I can trust that will move my items for me, clean my house, uh, give me tours of places? How can I find that without running into gringo vultures if somebody's going to take advantage. How do I find trustworthy people? And having gone through all that and having almost the entire range of my friends are locals, and so I know a lot of people, uh, I decided to create this website to help with that and also help with people that I knew firsthand that were good quality people that were very honest and help them find work because while there's talk about the economies you know so great in Cuenca it really isn't there's a huge unemployment problem and <clears throat> unemployed or underemployed and so the website I created for that and it's had mixed reviews I've found a lot of work for a number of people but it was really limited to only people that I had used for certain things. And the last thing that I do is, of course, these videos. So those three things keep me quite busy. And sometimes it's a balancing act. Now, I've talked in the videos in the past, not so long ago, particularly when I crossed the border, all this influx of Venezuelan people, basically they're refugees, they're running from oppression. So with these videos, I've made it aware that this, there's this big influx of people coming from Venezuela. And in, in almost all cases, they're coming with little to nothing. They're coming with what they can carry. Even people that had money no longer have money because the value of their, 
the money in Venezuela is just in the toilet. And so they're escaping death and disease and illness and oppressive government. It, it, and in many cases, there's family left behind because they can only get, uh, parents are pushing their children out to safety. And in many cases, the parents are insisting that they stay. It's really just a parental selfless act. So this massive influx is causing some problems, obviously. You have a huge group of Venezuelans numbering in the thousands and thousands in Cuenca alone. They come here with a lot of training, a lot of education, and no work and no money. Also, as they do find certain jobs, they're displacing local people because out of desperation, instead of making $4 an hour, they're willing to work for $2 an hour or a dollar an hour. They're, they're willing to do anything to eat, to survive, to be able to stay and rebuild their life or to bring family members. Something is better than nothing. And so it's obvious what that, that's going to do to the local population. Now they can get mad at each other and you know locals can be upset with Venezuelans because they're coming here and stealing jobs and Venezuelans are desperate and they can get bitter because people don't understand what they're going through. It's not that they're bad people, it's just desperation. They feel rightfully so, they have a right to live also. So it, it's really an ugly situation. It's handled with a certain amount of grace, I will say, but those feelings exist. So I'm making this video as a call to action. This may be a complete waste of my time, but meeting and knowing so many people in these situations, I just feel compelled to at least try to help. And I'm going to ask you to help. And if I get help from you, then I will continue and try to expand this. I want to expand the service of Cuenca-Relocate.com. Rather than just a handful of people that I know, I want to expand it to people in these situations. People that have been displaced locally or some Venezuelans that are in a tough situation. I need your help with it. I'm asking for your help. I decided after being told a lot of anecdotal stories from Venezuelans and locals about what's going on here over the past year and seeing what's going on in the border, I decided to see firsthand uh, what kind of pressure there is here in Cuenca. So OLX.com, as you may or may not know, it's, it's kind of the Craigslist of, of Ecuador, and outside of Ecuador also, but here it's like the Craigslist. You can also put employment posts on this website. So I decided to post up a help wanted ad for house cleaning, a, a kind of a fact finding thing. I was just curious to what kind of response I would get. Within 24, I posted it up at 9 o'clock at night, and within 24 hours, I had hundreds, hundreds of hits. After a couple days, I had nearly a thousand hits on this. People that just logged in looking. That's not the, you know, how many would there be if this were, if this ad were known citywide. We're talking about a huge issue here, a huge problem. And so I went through and I decided I'm going to talk to some of these people. Now, I, before they came, I told them this is what's going on. Something may or may not come of it. So if you come, understand that. In looking through most of these, almost every one, I actually shut it off yesterday. Uh, after the fourth day. It just, it, it's just too many. It's overwhelming. But in looking through these, more than half of these are Venezuelans. One of the striking things about the Venezuelans is the education level. Uh, it's very high. Nearly everyone has a college degree. In fact, I interviewed three Venezuelans yesterday. 
and they actually they knew each other so they wanted to come together and I agreed sure come on one of them is a doctor and she's been here for about a month the other two have been here for about a year or a little less than a year and they they were friends in Venezuela and the third one came and also uh, knew I think related to one of them and, and so they're all you know trying to help each other out but here's a doctor sitting here looking for work to clean houses that kind of says it all right there's a common theme to these whether it's a local person or whether it's one of these refugees from Venezuela it's desperation it's desperation to find their place it's desperation to stop living hand to mouth or off of other people and to live a life of some kind of normalcy another common theme is every single person I talk to from Venezuela I hear the exact same thing I miss my family or even more I miss my mother I hear it time and again and again and I also hear in asking about it why doesn't your mother come here if you were able to come here they refuse to come they refuse to come because they have hope it'll get better if they have hope it'll get better then why did you leave because it's getting worse so it's fascinating to have conversations with these people but it's also heartbreaking so I'm asking for your help and here's some ways that you can help and if I get response to this then we'll see if we can as together if we can make this something good one if there's anybody out there with skills in editing video and want to volunteer some time please come forward I want to do some promotional videos for this and I don't want them to be crappy videos like unfortunately I only have the ability to make I want them to be something of quality so if you have any actual skill editing videos to do that uh, you know, please come forward second if you need any kind of house cleaning please let me know email here is the email right here please let me know send me an email just to give you some idea a typical apartment of three bedroom two bathroom is going to run you about twenty dollars now I ask everyone that I've talked to take a look at my house it's three floors it's four bedrooms it's three bathrooms two patios it's a large place and I'm told that of course they would have to see a place but it would essentially be somewhere around twenty five thirty dollars so the range of cleaning is going to be probably around 20 or 30 now it has also been recommended instead of you having to sit at your house for four or five hours and uh, provide a lunch and the things that go with that which is not necessarily a bad thing but maybe maybe you don't want to do that every week or a couple times a week maybe you want to go somewhere that sending a group of two or three people to do a four or five hour job in an hour and a half or two hours is completely viable to do and everyone I talk to is more than willing to be part of that so if you want this done quickly but done very well there is that option and there's no different cost for you they would just divide up what that money is and hopefully they'll get others so that individually they can make the money but they're willing to do this because they just need some money I also want to remind you if you weren't aware that on this website and doing this I'm making nothing I'm not pulling anything from their work it's I'm just donating my time number three contributions for this specifically are welcome and now what's this for well the website it's it's minor so I'm not really concerned with that I just have to pay a little fee every month but 
if you are willing to contribute, and I'm not talking huge amounts, but if you are willing to contribute, these people that I see, whether it's cleaning supplies or transportation, or even a few dollars to fill in until they get their next job, I would be more than happy, willing to do that. I'm seeing a lot of need. I can't afford to continue to take out from my savings to do things. And so if, if there's anybody that's willing to assist with that, it will go to a good home. This is not a pitch to sit here and get a ton of money and build up my coffers. This is just an informal thing to help these people out. You're welcome to uh, talk to them, uh, particularly if you can speak some Spanish. And lastly, number four, if there's anything that you feel that you have to contribute that can help with this, please let me know. I'm sure there's lots of possibilities here that I haven't considered. Now, I haven't, and I won't consider going through all the process of a nonprofit to set this up and do it that way. I've got to keep it informal because I went through that process. It took months and months and months for the foundation that I'm an officer in. And, um, and it's just not something that I want to do again. It's very uh, complicated, so I need to keep this. It, and it also doesn't require the scale that that foundation requires uh, for street kids. So this is something that it's really localized person to person to person in these situations. And if anybody wants to assist with that, if anybody has any skills or ideas, please feel free to email. Again, here's the email, um, a way I can get a hold of you and what, what thoughts you have. So just to summarize, I'm busy all the time. If you don't see videos, maybe it's because I had pneumonia, <laughs> but I'm not, I'm, I'm really rarely sick and it's generally not due to that. It's because I'm, frankly, I'm doing other things and it's uh, not something that I have shared in the past, really. I don't really tell you about it. But I'm telling you about it because, um, as I said, it's heartbreaking to see. If there's anything I can do, I want to try. But it isn't something that I can do alone. And so I'm making this video as a call to action if you can help in any way. Um, so that's all I have to say. I will see you soon. You know you could.